You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV's iPad App Reviews. Well, this week we're going to be looking at WordPress. It's a free app that you can use if you're a WordPress blogger. It's a really stellar application for creating uh, updates to your blog, looking at comments and really tracking what's going on. So let's take a closer look at WordPress. Let's take a closer look at WordPress. Now obviously WordPress is an application that's for working with WordPress blogs. Now to add a blog on this application, it's really easy. You just go up here to the blogs and hit the plus sign. And you can see that you can start a brand new blog at WordPress.com. You can add a blog that's hosted already at WordPress.com. Or you can add one that you're self-hosting. And so that's the ones that we're using. We're hosting those on our own servers. Now to do that, you just go in here and you press add WordPress uh, blog. You enter the URL, your username and password, and hit Add Blog. That's about all there is to it. Um, and then you have some custom settings that you can go in here. If you really want to tweak how your blog handles certain things like resizing photos or geotagging, you can change that there. And uh, also you have uh, some specific uh, authentication options if you really want to make sure that your blog is very secure. So um, it's pretty simple though to set it up. You just put in your URL, username and password for almost any blog and say Add Blog. And so once you have your blog in, you can add not just one, but as many blogs as you have. So we have, I think, about five or six blogs. We only have two in this application right now. So I'm going to go in here, and this is my Matchstick blog. It's a blog we just started. And right now, we only have three posts. Now, if it had more posts that weren't showing up here, I could just click Load More Posts. It would go out to the server and bring those in. It's not going to find any because we only have three. But I can go in here and look at these. Now, one of the things that you should know is that um, you have all of the information for each blog post, the title, all the tags, categories, your status. And then down here, it's going to show up in HTML format. So if you're not familiar with HTML, you might have a little bit of learning to do to understand what all these little tags are. But almost all blog editors show their uh, information in HTML. This is not a what you see is what you get editor or a WYSIWYG editor. Um, it's what a lot of people call it. So if you want to have your formatting really simple where you can see it, this might not be the editor for you. Now, there is a preview feature. So you can push this, and you can see how your entry may look on uh, your blog. Now, this isn't uh, extremely accurate because sometimes your custom theme won't load in. And so, for example, our custom thing isn't loaded. And so it's not showing this accurately. So the only way to actually see how this looks is to go to your blog and load it once it's published which isn't the best uh, workflow, but it's very common on a lot of blog editors. And hopefully they will fix this so that it's a little bit more accurate in uh, future revs. Now, one of the things that you probably will be doing a lot is creating new entries. Now, to do that, it's very, very simple. You just go up here and you push this pencil mark, and then you have a blank slate to work from. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to uh, click on the title. Now, I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard, but normally, normally a, uh, a keyboard would pop up here. We're just going to use the Bluetooth keyboard. And I will type in here, this is my new post. And that would be the title of your post. And then I can put in some tags. And so I'll put in test, and I'll put in uh, Adorama, et cetera. And then the categories. You can see that the categories are already populated. So when you have your categories in your blog, those automatically come into the WordPress app. And so you can go in there and say, well, this is about an event, and this is about what we think. And then uh, once that's done, there is a status here. Right now, it's a local draft, meaning you don't have to be connected to the internet. So if you have a Wi-Fi only iPad and you want to work offline on your commute, on the train, or on the bus, or while you're traveling, you can do that and then post your, uh, your posts to your blog once you're connected to the internet. And once you have that all set up, then you just tap right here and you can start typing. So this is uh, my new blog post. And um, obviously, you would write something that's a little bit more meaningful than that. Now, once you have everything done, you can go ahead and push Publish, which we don't want to do because I don't want this to be on my blog. Or I can say I want to save this, and it'll save it as a local draft. And so you can create as many as you want. Now, once you're done with that, you can also do some different types of statuses. So you can make this just a draft, and so it'll be a draft, and it'll actually publish it as a draft so other people can look at it. And you could uh, make sure it goes live from a different computer. You could uh, maybe say it's pending review, a private, or a full published blog post. So you have all the same kind of status workflow that you do on your WordPress blog sites, which is pretty nice. Now, the other thing you can do here is you can add media. 
And so uh, there are some photos here that I have. We could add videos if we want. Um, and so we can go in there and say, I want to add a video. Now to do that, I don't have any videos on here. So I'll go in here to, I'm sorry, into media and add a photo. So this brings that up. I'll go in here and add this picture of Don here. And then I can say what size I want it to be. I'm going to keep it really small. And then this will upload the image to my content on my blog. And so once I publish this, uh, this blog entry, it will actually link that to my photo. And so that's how that works. It's really, really nice. And you can see now we have some HTML because we actually have some uh, images that are being shown on this. Let me show you a couple other things you can do with the WordPress application. If you have pages on your WordPress blog, you can just get to those by hitting the pages um, icon right down here. Now, uh, this is going to go out and load any of the pages that you have on your blog. And we have two pages, Meet the Staff and About Matchstick. So I'm going to click on About Matchstick, and then it will bring that in. And if I want to edit that page, I can. I can meet the staff. I can edit that page if I want. I can create a new page. And so you have all the same functionality that you normally do on your blog. Another feature of the WordPress app are the comments. So you can just click on the comments icon. And you can see here on uh, this blog, we have a bunch of comments that we can read through. Now, the cool thing is, not only can you read these comments, but you can push this icon right here. You can unapprove the comment. You can mark it as spam. You can even edit contents. Or we have this icon over here, and you can reply to the content, uh, comment. I don't want to do that because I don't want to put something out there that uh, shouldn't be. And then uh, if you really want to get rid of a comment, you can push the delete button, which is a little trash can, which I don't want to do. But you can totally manage your comments from this. So it's a really nice application for managing posts, creating new posts, managing your pages, and reviewing and editing comments as well. Well, there you have it. That's WordPress. The cool thing is it works with both WordPress uh, hosted sites on WordPress.org or self-hosted WordPress blogs, uh, anything that you've uploaded to your own site. So it's really, really flexible and can work very well. Well, remember, if you have an app that you'd like to see me review here on Adorama TV, please send your suggestions to askmark at adorama.com. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.